All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and honor glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapodash. Double honest to the elders and the apostles of the great mills. Don't tell us the truth. And salutations to the hopeful we like. That's around the four corners of the globe. Yahweh, who the world inly calls God, Bahashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world inly calls Jesus Christ and Jehovah. The Rakapodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Iwalomia from GMS Chicago, much out here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope this lesson be edifying. You know, I'm just basically doing a lesson, you know, based off this quote. And I'm entitled this lesson, you know, the worst type of slave is a slave that doesn't know he's a slave. You know, because, you know, referring back to our people here in Babylon the Great, which is America. You know, a lot of our people, two thirds of our people, that is, you know, don't think they're, they're act, uh, that they're actually slaves. Believe it or not, our people actually believe that they have the freedom to do what they want to do in this society, you know? They, our people feel like they don't got restraints. Our people think, you know, our people basically believe in the American dream, you know, that they're free, that they have the same, you know, the, so, uh, the same race, uh, rights as the so-called white man, you know, that he's a welcome uh, member in this society, talking about two thirds of our people. But I'm gonna just jump into, you know, straight into the lesson. I want to read this quote real quick before I jump into it, though. This is uh, from a quote by Fyodor, uh, pronounce that last name. What's that? Dostia, uh, Dostia V Sky. I know I butchered it, but I'm going to go ahead and read this quote. And it says, the best way to keep a prisoner from escaping is to make sure he's never know he's in a prison. And right, that describes our people, two thirds of our people in a nutshell. Our people doesn't know, you know, or realize that they're, you know, in this delusion. And I did a, a lesson a couple of months back, you know, escaping the matrix. That's why I taught it that lesson. You know, our people, you know, doesn't know that they're in the matrix. And what I mean by that is, you know, our people doesn't know that they're still in captivity under the hands of the so-called white man, you know, you know, because what our people, you know, receive these different benefits and things of that nature, you know. And they feel like since they receive these benefits, you know, they're not a slave. But I'm going to read this quote one more time and jump, jump into some precepts. It says, the best way to keep a prisoner from escaping is to make sure he's never, uh, he never knows he's in a prison. And how does a so-called white man do that? By giving our people these benefits, these different, you know, uh, things to make them feel like, um, bear with me for a second, to make them feel like that they're a welcome member of society, you know? But this is the book of Jeremiah 2 and 14. It says, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Right? Our people are homeborn slaves. You know, um, our people have, you know, what you call Stockholm Syndrome. You know, they love their oppressors so much. You know, they have fallen in love with the so-called white man so much that they feel like, you know, they can do, you know, uh, no wrong. You know, they feel like they're a welcome, like I said, a welcome member you know, uh, of society, you know, because the so-called white man throw them benefits here and there, you know, things of that nature, you know, our people think that they have, you know, quote unquote, the, the freedom to do what they want to do. Just like Baruch 3 and they say, you know, we are yet this day, you know, in our captivity, you know, and Lord will I can get that, but our people are, well, our homeborn slaves, a lot of our people have that Stockholm syndrome, you know, a lot of our people will pick the so-called white man, you know, or the, over their own people, you know, uh, you know, giving the, you know, giving the, uh, to, you know, the time to do that, you know, that's what we call what coons and different things of that nature, you know, that's why two thirds got to be destroyed. This is a. Uh, Let's get this. This is the book of Romans 12 and 2. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that, so like it, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your hour. Right. You know, we have to be renewed, you know, when we come into this truth. You know? You know, we have to, you know, change our way of thinking and different things, you know, like that. 
you know, we have to change, you know, our mindset, you know, how the so-called white man, you know, had, you know, has us uh, thinking certain different things, indoctrinating us with the BS of this world. You know, we have to be, as it says right here, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, we have to come back to our power. You know, we have to, you know, um, you know, you know, run away from the ways of this world, the ways of, you know, thinking of this world, you know, you know, we have to change our whole mindset. But our people are so much of a homeborn slave, you know, that, you know, like I said, they have Stockholm syndrome, you know, anything that the so-called white man say or do, no matter what it is, our people will follow it, you know. That's why we need the, you know, that's why we have to, you know, um, as it says, you know, transform by the renewing of your mind. We have to change our ways. But ultimately that has to happen by what? You know, you know, thinking differently, acting differently. You know, what I just read back in that Jeremiah, you know, our people are homeborn slaves, you know? Because what? They look at the so-called white man as a god. But let's continue. This is the book of uh this is the book of Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children. Say of the Lord, you help out Shimei I'll try to take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may uh that they may add sin to sin. It says, verse 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right. I, like I said, our people think that they're welcome members of society. They trust this government. They trust Esau Edom so much. You know, they will follow the, after, you know, follow the ways, you know, no matter what it is. You know, our people will follow the ways of this system, you know, set up by Esau Edom. You know, because, well, our people look at Esau Edom as a god. Our people have that homeborn slave mentality, you know. You know, going back to the title, you know, in the quote, add on to the quote, what I, you know, just read, going back to the title, I named this lesson, you know, um, you know, referring to our people, you know, uh, uh, the worst type of slave is a slave that, you know, that doesn't know he's a slave, you know, our people trusting in this, you know, in this system, you know, our people being good slaves, that's the so-called white man, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, had to set up, you know. And this is what a lot of our people do. That's why you have a lot of our people turn out, you know, uh, that are sellouts, different things of that nature, you know. Well, let's continue. This is the book of John. Actually, let me let me grab something real quick before I grab this, John. Let's uh let's go to the to the Bible app. Let's get this. Deuteronomy 28 and I believe let's see uh, yep Deuteronomy 28 and 48 it says therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things it says and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee right our people are totally destroyed you know that yoke of iron you know what Jake had on them you know during the uh, hardcore slavery and now our people are so destroyed that what? That yoke of iron is on our people's mind, you know? And that's what makes our people think you know, they're not slaves in this society, you know? I, if you actually go up to a, you know, an average Jake, you know, whether it be a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you ask, a, you know, the average Joe, you know, are you free? And they say, yeah, you know, I'm able to walk outside my house, buy, buy food. You know, that's what an average Jake, you know, that's how average Jake would answer that, you know, not knowing the deepness of what's going on. You know, look where you live, you know, look how you're being treated. You're oppressed on a daily. You know, you have food that's in your neighborhood. You know, you have to go to your enemies for the one of all things, you know. You're the tail, not the head. And there's many more, many, many more I can list, you know. Our people are destroyed. Our people have that, going back to what I just said, that Stockholm Syndrome. You know, that slave mentality, you know. Now, let's go to the last scripture and I'm going to close out.
This is the book of John 8 and 32. It says, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Right, the truth shall make you free. And that's how ultimately, you know, we break the chains of these devils, you know, by coming back to the truth, knowing who you are, knowing that you're not a so-called African-American, knowing that you're not, you know, a so-called Mexican-American, knowing that you're not, you know, a savage, which they call the Native Americans, you know, that what, we're the Israelites, according to the Bible, you know, Yasharala, he prince power, you know, we the sons of God, we're the sons of Yahweh Ba'at Shemi Shah. And that's what's coming back to the truth. That's how, this, you know, this truth is setting us free. You know, this truth is giving us life again, you know, breaking the chains of the devil, you know, off our minds. But two thirds of our people still going to have that slave mentality until the, those missiles drop, you know. So with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying one and all by giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh Ba'at Shem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'at Shem, Dash. That wanted to the elders and not possible the great millstone taught us this truth and salutation to the hopeful we like that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord, I hope this lesson was edifying. Until next time, wah, a baba ba, shalom.